Hey, Magic fans. Welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clive's MTG. We got a short little update. Not a little something I thought we might as well go over while we have the time. Give us a little break from box openings, which are running rampant on the channel right now. Make sure you check them out. <clears throat> we got uh, Thunder Junction reveals. Uh, some stuff for Arena and the actual packaging itself has been shown. So, hey, let's go take a look at it. Why not? So before we get started, don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. The link's in the description to the eBay store uh, and TCG player. Uh, get the cards. All the boxes have been opened um, for the moment. Uh, cards have been listed. They are flying off the shelves like hotcakes if I if I had shelves and had hotcakes. Anyway, point being, <clears throat> they're in there. Get them while, they're, get them while you can. Uh, they're running out quick. Also... Uh, Patreon's in there. We got memberships on the channel now and all that good jazz. So, uh, sign up. We'll start doing some extra stuff for members and all that and all the other fun stuff. Now, with that said, we're also on Rumble. Don't forget. But if you want to support the channel, the best way is just hit subscribe. Watch the videos. That's the best thing you can do for me. I do appreciate it. Now, without further ado, let's watch the thunder roll. <laughs> it's a terrible pun. I'll see myself out. Anyway, moving on. So starting in Arena, uh, we have the Oko Pack Bundle. Uh, you get 50 Outlaws of Thunder Junction Packs, 5 Golden Packs, 1 Oko Ringleader Card, 1 Oko Ringleader Card Style, and an Oko Sleeve. Uh, obviously, this is Oko. Um, probably the most feminine picture I've seen of him in a while. Um, but whatever. Always thought Oko was kind of cool. This makes me question my thoughts. But anyway, uh, we also have... A Varaska play bundle, which is very interesting. You get two draft tokens, one sealed token, five play in points, one Varaska the Silencer card, Varaska the Silencer card style, Varaska sleeve, and a Tiny Bones companion. That is really cool. <clears throat> I love Tiny Bones. He's hilarious. With that being said, we do know that Varaska's back. We have not seen any, let's say, Jace appearances yet. Uh, I'd really like to see these two continue, continue their little um, lovebird fest they had going on. I thought it was a great scope and everything. Um, and I did like Varaska because of it. And it gave Jace a little bit of depth from all the dumb shit they had him doing. But I always thought Jace should have been poster boy. I mean, he was the poster boy, technically. But he was the wrong kind of poster boy. And they really need to fix that. But anyway, <clears throat> still want to see him do see them guys do do right by jace anyhow there is one more pack left or bundle i guess you could say and it's the kellen pass bundle uh outlaws of thunder junction mystery pass mastery pass one kellen the kid card get it kellen the kid billy the, anyway moving on uh kellen the kid card style a kellen sleeve um i thought kellen was cool when he first appeared i liked him a lot i'm not too sure I like what they're turning him into. Just personal opinion. You guys tell me in the comment section. Um, it, he looks a lot like his dad, which is if you don't if you don't know, spoiler alert, it's Oko. Um, and we have an Oko. We don't need an Oko squared or a mini Oko. I, we we need somebody. We need something different. So, I mean, Oko's cool and new and, and all that good jazz, and I do like Oko, but Oko is Oko. And I've, I've yet to see what Kellen is supposed to be. I like the story from uh, Wilds of Eldraine, um, but after that, it's really just, uh, in my opinion, it's piss poor writing. Um, I had a lot, of, uh, a lot of hopes for this guy, uh, this boy, man man child whatever um it's not coming to fruition it makes me a little sad on the inside I'm not even lying um because this is the first time that we're gonna get technically well he's not a planeswalker yet he's a legendary creature but technically a son of a planeswalker um and it to be cool um i kind of wish that it would kind of been Vraska and jace's son that's what i really want to see but we know how that plays out because, heaven forbid, we get something we want. Anyway, moving on. So those are the passes for Arena. Next, we have some artwork from the actual packaging itself. We have the booster. Uh, obviously, it's a play booster because that's all we have left. But don't worry. It's the best of draft and set. 
also known as a fucking conglomeration. Anyway, we have a Oko art here. You can see there's a train in the background. It almost looks like Zendikar with the islands floating in the back. Um, so that's an interesting thought process. Um, I do like how Oko looks, um, per se. Uh, however, I, I'm not sure I'm really... The way they drew his face just looks weird to me. I don't, I don't know why. Like, I don't know. That's just me. Anyway, moving on. So here's the actual uh, booster pack. So, looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Um, it will come inside of a box, obviously. It looks like this. Um, I think this is a little better art uh, for Oko. I think its face looks a little better. Maybe it's because the, the hat's over his head. Hell, I don't know. Uh, but you can see the train in the background. You can see somebody back there. It almost looks like Tiny Bones. Real close. This kind of looks like Rakados, which is different. Um, since we just left a set that he was in. But, whatever. Still, it'd be kind of cool. Although, um, if they're going to make him a mainstay, I kind of question that a little bit. But um, And it's hard to see up there. That almost looks like Veraska. Um tied to the train maybe um but anyway like i said you can see down here all the lands maybe thunder junction uh is going to be some spin off of zendikar um not gonna lie I like zendikar it's one of my favorite planes so if we're going back to zendikar i'm not gonna complain because i did like the area um so very interesting with what we got right here so, as we move on, we also have the Collector Booster. Um, now, this is very interesting. This is, again, it's Oko. You can see kind of the Wild West theme. Uh, you can see this tower here. It reminds me a lot of a card from Zendikar. I forget what it's called. Um, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, well, we'll both Google it later. But anyway, uh, this is interesting because this, see this hand here? This looks like fire. This looks like small canisters. And that little leg right there with the red on it gives me rise to believe this is Chandra staring him down, which is very interesting. They don't have a whole lot of, let's say, history. Um, but we all know Chandra can fly off the handle because she's hot-headed. Get it? Get it? Hot-headed? She's the fire plane. Uh, <clears throat> moving on. So... Um, so this is going to be very interesting. As always, you can see that there's one, two, three, four. I, I hope this picture is wrong because we know Collector Booster is supposed to have 12. Um, but if you look at this, one, two, three, four, there's five tabs there. One, two, three, four, five. Lead me to believe there's 10 packs and not 12. Now, that could be simple mistake on whoever put this together. I hope it is, because if these come out with 10-pack 10, with 10 boxes, they best be damn cheaper. Um, and when I say cheaper, I mean like 170 because these packs are going for like $20 a piece. So you take $40 worth of packs out of this thing, and you still want to charge $250 or $230, I'm going to be highly, highly irate. And so will the rest of the community. Uh, we've already seen play boosters uh take it to the take a shot to the to the crotch because people don't like them already very first time first time they came out people already pissed so uh you say what you want people aren't buying them therefore we don't like them therefore math so there's that so moving on after that we do have a picture of the bundle bundle looks really cool i'm not gonna lie this is a different hand than we've seen before it looks fiery um it almost makes me think it's Tybalt. I think that'd be cool. We haven't seen a Tybalt in a while. Uh, but I love the whole country big belt buckle. It's cool. I like it. And then finally, we'll wrap it up with the commander sets. You can see down here, this looks like Olivia, Val Olivia Valderin. Um, if it is, at sweet. I love the outfit. I love how she's got the whole saloon girl thing going on throwing the money like it's gambling it's fantastic uh we have gonti down here uh old gonti getting busy with it looking 
like a badass. Um, these two look amazing, not going to lie. Especially since I like the way this is most wanted. Get it? Because she's a good-looking chick. And then we have Grand Lar Larceny because, you know, Gandhi's a thief rogue. Anyway, right nail on the head. Uh, over here, I don't recognize this lady. Maybe this is a new legendary. Uh, if you got a good guess uh, in the comment section, let me know. Um, I mean, I guess it could technically... Well, probably won't be a D&D &D person because... Well, I mean, I guess they own D&D. &D. They could put them in here if they really wanted to. Um, but the Planeswalker from the D&D &D set kind of looks like her. Maybe not. Eh. Don't recognize this one. Definitely don't recognize this dude. Um, unless this is supposed to be Jace. Jesus Christ, it better not be Jace. I'll be mad. Um, because this is just not, no. Also not blue, so probably not. I'm probably overreacting. Don't mind me. But there you have it, guys. There's everything we know from the set so far. Uh, you can see here what the colors are and what they're supposed to do um so uh we have desert bloom which says discard lands grow them back we have quick draw which is sling multiple spells unleashing big turns and then we have steel cards generate mana oh gaunty grand larceny and then we have here we have earn tribute and buy outlaws so it's gonna be interesting guys cannot wait i hope thunder junction lives up to the hype uh because they gotta do something it's getting they got to do something to fix their storyline or even have one, I guess, at this point. Until next time, be kind. I hope to see you across the game table later, players. Man, I hope it's a quick draw card just so I can use it.